here in Harrisburg, Pennsylvania, and I'm having an opportunity to visit with Namalie Brennett. And I met her through a client of mine in uh, the Middle East who said, you have to know this American singer. She's wonderful. So she sent me her website, and then she, my client from the Middle East sent me another email. She said, you know, she's going to be at Keystone Conference when you are. So I emailed Namali, and here she is to visit with us a little bit and talk about her voice. Um, well, I didn't really start doing anything transition-wise uh, probably till my late 20s. And I sort of took my sweet time about it in a way because I wasn't really sure um, if it was the right thing for me or not. I was also working at a church at the time and was worried about getting fired, uh, which I did get fired. Mm -hmm. And oh, it was actually okay. Oh, okay. I, I was done. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> um, so, uh, yeah, I probably didn't start really seriously until I was like 32 or 33 uh -huh. with hormones and electrolysis. And <clears throat> I was also singing at the time. And I thought that I sort of had to choose either mm -hmm. be a singer or uh, live as female because my voice was, uh, my singing voice was a baritone, you know, mm -hmm. that was my training. And I felt like even if I was physically able to pass, every time I got up on a microphone, everyone would say, oh, she's, she's a man or something. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And so I just kind of came to terms with that. And I was like, well, if that's the way it's going to be, then I'll just, that'll have to be okay because I can't not sing. And I felt like that actually gave me a little bit of latitude. Um, and I eventually started sort of finding some role models um, for singers. I guess because I, I wasn't 100% happy with my singing voice. Mm -hmm. and, uh, who do you like? Well, who I like... I'll, I'll list off some of the people who are like, sort of important to me vocally. It was like, uh, like Amy Ray from the Indigo Girls, mm -hmm. uh, this woman Eliza Gilkison from Texas, and uh, like Sarah Vaughn, mm -hmm. uh, just a lot of different singers who, you know, I started realizing there's there are a lot of women who sing in the range that I sing in. Yes, absolutely. And, but it's just there's something different about their timbre mm -hmm. that makes it identifiable as female as opposed to male or something. And that's, that's absolutely the dividing uh, point is that the timbre is different, the resonance as we would call it in speech therapy. Mm -hmm. um, excellent. So um, you had mentioned when we first started chatting about the progression of your CDs mm -hmm. in terms of the sound that you heard and the changes that you've in encountered in your singing over the years. So tell me kind of where, what that progression was like. Well, it's pretty weird for me to go back and listen to early stuff. I mean, I think in a way, I I um I call my first CD "Boy in a Dress," you know, just because it was a way of sort of turning something, you know, instead of hiding the fact that I was transgender or trying to like, you know, kind of work around it. I thought, well, maybe this is something that will make me stand out from the pile of CDs on the music director's desk at a radio station. Is like, boy, you know what, you know, mm -hmm. <laughs> and uh, but when I go back and listen to that CD, it's very it's very like masculine sounding to me, and uh, I think around that point, I I heard this woman, uh, who is Eliza Gilkison. I, nobody knows who she is. She's just this, you know, famous daughter of another famous singer. She's probably in her fifties now, but she um, she had this really cool low gravelly voice, like and, a body uh, rate kind of thing. Yeah, but even lower. Oh, wow. And even more gravelly. Oh, wow. <laughs> I make her sound like a lifetime smoker or something. So I saw in your bio that, you know, there's sort of like a cross between Lucinda Williams and I forget whoever, who else. I love Lucinda Williams. Yeah, me too. And I think that there's nice, a nice folky, just that crossover country folk mm -hmm. that you do that's wonderful. Just to be